This is a Comet Diplexer, a CF416. It uses one antenna for two different radios or maybe a radio with two different VHF UHF ports on it. This one will actually go, the first port is 1.3 megahertz to 170 megahertz, so you could use it for an HF radio. And the second port is 350 to 540 megahertz, so you can use it for a 440 radio. You could use one antenna, two radios, maybe even three radios if you configure it correctly. We're going to take a look at it today. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. Thank you for joining the channel today. My name's Jason. I'm KC5HWB. This is your first time here. Welcome. Glad you uh, joined us. So we're going to talk about the Comet Antenna Diplexer. I've always heard them called a Diplexer. A duplexer is what you put on the back of a repeater. But I've always heard these called a Diplexer that this is a unit that takes two radios or a radio with two ports, as we're going to see today, and spits it out to one antenna. So you can use one antenna with two different bands. This one will do HF all the way to 170 megahertz. So it'll do HF six meters, four meters for those of you overseas. And it'll do the two meter band on one side of the unit and it will do 350 to 540 megahertz on the other side of the unit, which for amateur radio, really the only thing we need that for is the 440-70 centimeter band. Now, I guess technically, if you had a wide enough banded antenna, you could take this and connect it to a 2-meter ham radio and a 440 GMRS radio. Depends on which kind of antenna. Special thanks to Comet for sending me this. I reached out and I said, hey, I need a diplexer and I explained what I was doing. I'm gonna connect it to that FT847 right there. We're about to connect it up. So I reached out to them and I said, hey, I wanna get one of these and I wanna do a video about it. And they're like, hey, great, we will send you one. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's that's fine. Cause I went, I think I went to Gigaparts' website and at the time they were sold out. They're in stock right now. I'm looking at the website right now. They have them back in stock. So, um, so go to Gigaparts, you can find a link to this below, but we're gonna hook this up to the Yezu FT847 and show you the ports on the back of the radio and show how it spits out one or two ports on a radio through this to one antenna. Stick around. All right, we waited till the snow days. I'm gonna see, this repeater's been active all day because everybody's at home today, so let's try it out. KG5HJ from KC5HWV. Frank, you out there? What is up? <laughs> KG5HJ. Hey, I just wanted to get, a, I'm recording a video about this uh, Comet Diplexer that I put on the back of my FT-847. Just want to get a couple of couple of QSOs going in there. <laughs> and now he's going to yell into it. Roger, roger. Um, and you're sounding uh, clear and crisp on my end. Uh, no bacon fry or anything. Is this yeah. on a, uh, you said on the back of a handheld? No, no, this is my base station. This is my uh, most recent update to the base station. Uh, so I installed a, a diplexer from. So I've got an, a Yezu FT847, which has four antenna ports in the back of it. Uh, one is for HF, one is for six meters. Those two are not connected. And then I have a, a two meters and a 440 connector in the back. I have a Comet diplexer, a CF416 coming off the back and going into some uh, MMP coax. And then that coax runs to an alpha delta switch that I can turn off and on up to my Edfong tri-band j-pole so i'm talking to you on the tri-band j-pole right now which is about 20 28 feet in the air that's cheating but hey man that that works you're coming in very very well um i'm just talking to you on a little handheld a bounce bank handheld inside of my house right now on the second first story so that means i got a bunch of other wood going through it um, but that's it. So that's it. That's the Comet Diplexer from uh, Gigaparts that I got. Check a link in the description below for that. Those of you in the North Texas area, come find us on 442.900 for the W5EUL ULIS repeater. 73, talk to you next time.